I was responsible, in fact I was the lead educator for the Forensic Psychology Witness Investigation MOOC um, that's now had two presentations. I think it was one of the first OU MOOCs, I think it was the third launched and the first in my faculty. Writing for the MOOC um, was a very different experience to my normal course production. Um, the speed with which it was done was probably the primary difference. Um, we usually spend you know, a couple of years writing stuff and if I'm writing a, a chapter for a textbook there will be initial plan, it will then run through three drafts with lots of comments from a whole team of academics, from uh, associate lecturers and from students. Um, there will then be a liaison with the editing team uh, to produce handover and finally galleys. Uh, so that you can, you can run to six or seven drafts, um, whilst with writing the MOOC there was essentially one draft. Um, I wasn't seen by any other academics, I wrote it, I liaised with the production team and, and refined it from there, but it was basically one draft that was then refined. So the, the speed was very different, the whole experience was completely different. The experience of writing distance learning material without a team um, was I have to admit, fairly terrifying. It occurred to me once I'd actually started it that usually when we do something, we get lots of feedback. You know, it can be seen by tens of thousands of people. Um, you know, and the online stuff gets immediate comments. But you're always part of a team. There's you know five other academics and a whole LTS team and you know external media people as well. Um, so you kind of feel sheltered and protected. With the MOOC, it very much felt like it was me out there alone. I have to say. Um, I, I think I was able to write without a team and to do things the way I did it uh, because I'd had so much previous experience at the OU. Um, if I tried to do that, I think in the first year at my, the OU, I think the experience would be very different. Um, I remember talking to my head of department because there was a moment just as the presentation was going live where I said, I, I, I've, it's just hit me the extent to which I'm exposed here. I'm the only person that did this. I don't have this team behind me. We seem to have like 15, 20,000 people in a week's time will be reading this and instantaneously, instantaneously commenting. And if you you know, go on YouTube comments or comment boards on the web, that can really kick off. Um, so I was really worried, um, but I, I remember with working with the facilitators, the first week it came up and looking at the comments and working through them. And there were so many people um, that were being so positive that and it was particularly the, the, one of the, the, the goals we had, as well as teaching people about psychology, were raising aware, um, awareness of, of uh, justice issues, particularly to do with miscarriages of justice. And there were so many people that found that first week where we, we went through some of the cases of people who'd been in prison for 15 years, you know, we, we interviewed some of the witnesses, who saw it so powerful, it obviously affected them and changed their view of the criminal justice system. Uh, it, it was just a great moment, it really was.